Hello there, so today we're going to talk about wrist pain during mace bell movements and for that matter if you're getting any wrist pain in martial arts or in general really, these movements could help you. Assuming you have been doing proper warm-ups and you've been stretching after every other workout as well and you're still getting wrist pain, it comes down to either a joint issue, which muscle work can help manage but never fix, or it could be that your wrists are maybe just a little bit undeveloped for the training that you need to do. So we're going to go through three movements that are going to assist you. All of these, you can adjust how difficult the movement is going to be. And what I like to do is count my fists through the choke of the mace. Now, for me, I have knurling on the mace, so I actually count from the top of the knurling. However, if you don't, you might need to do this from the mace head and hot potato hands you down. So, usually, the center of gravity is about where the beginning of the knurling is. So, for this one, this 5K mace, it's about there. Ish. So if you're holding here, there's an even amount of weight on either side of the wrist. We want to be slightly under that so we can actually get the effect of the force. So we're going to be about slight hand down and we're going to go twist over and twist over. Now you can fine tune this of count fists. So I take the opposite hand, place it on and I count however many fingers down we want to go. So in this case, we're going to count two fingers down, place my fist over the ring finger, move the opposite hand out of the way, grip, and now we're about two fingers down from the top. And you can do that for entire fists and fingers at a time. So as you progress during the weeks, you can increase your distance, your choke down the mace to make this easier or harder. So the first movement, as you can see here, is simply just going side to side under control. Getting the mace level, all the way over and get it level again and just keep going and keep going. The second movement is going to involve tilting the mace forward and bringing the mace back. Keeping the same level of choke that you did for your side to side movements. So for me it was two fists, two fingers. Extend the mace out, drop the head down until the handle is parallel with your arm and then lift up and down. Now if You've perhaps got shorter arms and you've got a long handle. Don't be afraid to let the mace tilt out to the side a little bit and we come up and down instead. Okay, keep doing those and generally you want to go for about 10 reps. So 10 tilting side to side, 10 going up and down. For the last movement, you're going to invert the mace, count your fingers distance or fist distance, whatever choke you have chosen and are able to do. Put the mace head down by your side and with a straight arm, pull the mace up and pause. This one's really easy, just go up and bounce. We're gonna control, up, pause, bring the head down under control, up, pause, and down. Keep doing those movements weekly, at least 10 reps each per wrist, even if it's just one wrist that hurts, do it on both. And ideally, you want to give it at least six weeks. Six weeks of 10 reps per set, once a week, every week, six weeks. And hopefully, your wrist strength will increase, your grip strength will increase, and your pain will decrease. I'll see you again soon.